Good afternoon. I am Chair, <laughs> I'm Councilmember Helen Rosenthal, Chair of the Committee on Women. Uh, welcome everyone. Today the committee will vote out our Mother's Day package of legislation. As a society, we often fall short when it comes to supporting parents and caregivers. The Mother's Day legislative package, which was introduced right around Mother's Day, so it was relevant at one point. Uh, it represents a first step toward improving health outcomes for pregnant, pregnant mothers and persons, particularly for pregnant people of color, and will provide much needed support for families. The bills will first, were first heard on June 19th, and since then we've heard from advocates and stakeholders to provide the most impactful legislation as possible. This afternoon, we will be voting on the following bills. Intro 878, sponsored by Councilmember Robert Cornegie, which will require all city jails and police precincts to provide lactation space for visitors. Intro 879, sponsored by Councilmember and Majority Leader Lori Cumbo, which will require employers to provide a lactation room to employees needing to express breast milk and a refrigerator to store breast milk. Intro 905, sponsored by Councilmember Carlina Rivera, which will require employers to develop a written policy regarding implementation of a lactation room accommodation policy. Intro 913, sponsored by myself, which will require the Department of Health and Mental Hygiene to assess the needs of pregnant people across New York City and to create a plan to increase access to doulas for populations experiencing disproportionately high rates of maternal mortality. Every year, so in nine months, they are going to have to uh, reveal their first plan of action for what they're going to do to reduce the disparity uh, between maternal mortality between white women and black non-Latina women. And every year thereafter, they're going to have to report on and update that plan of action. Finally, intro 914, also sponsored by myself, which will require the Department of Health and Mental Health to annually report on maternal mortality and morbidity, and again, report on a plan to decrease the gap of outcomes. Taken together, these bills expand protections, confront flawed processes, and establish new reporting mechanisms for accountability. Most importantly, they are just the beginning steps of sustained efforts to support pregnant persons and families in New York City. Studies have proven that doulas improve pregnancy outcomes and outcomes for their infants. As a result of Intro 913, beginning in June 2019, the department will have to provide a plan to increase access to doulas for the city's most vulnerable pregnant people. Similarly, the legislation in introduced on lactation spaces will preserve the dignity of breastfeeding mothers. We cannot stop here. The rates of maternal mortality, especially among black women, represent a public health crisis and requires a sustained multi-faceted approach. Before we start the vote, I'd like to thank Speaker Corey Johnson for his leadership and partnership in putting this package together. And I also want to thank everyone here at the Council who worked so unbelievably hard with quite a few late nights to implement this vision, including my legislative director, Ned Terrace, and finance analyst, Daniel Krupp, and um, I also want to thank Andrea Vasquez and her entire team in the Council's Human Services Division, including 
Brenda McKinney, my lawyer, and Chloe Rivera, my policy analyst. Emphasis on my, I'm so proud of this strong women power here. And I now, I'd like to welcome council members um, Kalos and Ayala uh, to, the, to our meeting today, and I'd like to ask the clerk to call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on women. All items are coupled. Chair Rosenthal. I vote aye on all. Kalos. Thank you to the leadership of our uh, chair, Helen Rosenthal, and I vote aye on all, and happy belated Mother's Day. <laughs> Ayala. Aye on all. By a vote of three in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, all items have been adopted by the committee.